rec center and our FEMA uh, tornado shelter, our FEMA storm shelter. It does much more than just a tornado shelter. As you know, we have a lot of ice storms in the Ozarks. We lose power. This uh, facility will have a separate generator and a place that uh, we can have uh, a warming uh, area. It will be open to the public uh, in case of natural disaster. And when we are not using it for natural disaster, which I hope is 99% of the time, uh, it will be a student rec center. Our students uh, deserve uh, a, uh, as much as we can provide for them. We do provide a full campus experience, a full collegiate experience with the organizations that we have uh, in our, uh, on our campus, with the uh, athletics that we provide, and now with a student rec center. There are several people that I want to recognize. Uh, first of all, uh, Dake Wells architect, uh, Andrew Wells and Mark Wheeler served as the architects on this project. They helped design it. They constructed this uh, design that you see uh, before you, and Andrew Wells is with us today. Andrew, raise your hand. Thank you for being here. The uh, South Central Ozark Council of Governments, uh, Johnny Merle and Monty Smith, were of enormous help to us as we prepared this grant. As you know, uh, the we applied for a FEMA shelter grant. The uh, FEMA department pays for 75% of the of that cost of, of the cost of this building and then the uh, university pays for the remaining 25 percent and anything else that you put into it to make it other than a cinder block square that you can get into in times of uh, natural disaster so uh, Johnny Merle and Monty Smith were uh, we couldn't have done it without them uh, Monty Smith is uh, I think with us today Monty wave your hand thank you very much Missouri State University Planning, Design, and Construction Office helped us. Being part of the Missouri State University system has enormous benefits for us. And one example is that we don't have an architect on the West Plains campus. And were we to try to design something, we would have to go out and hire an architect. We don't have to do that because we are part of the MSU system and we use their architects. Doug Sampson was a key participant in the design process. He couldn't be with us, uh, but we do have uh, Bruce Emmerich is here today. Bruce, raise your hand. Thank you very much for the MSU support that we received. Uh, and uh, they're also serving as the design and construction project manager. Crossland Construction is the general contractor. They're working on the job right now. Is there someone from Crossland Construction here? Well, Okay. Now, I know Ezra wanted to drive the cat, and I got dibs on the, the backhoe, but uh, I think we have another plan instead. Before we do that, I'm going to have our, our one of our Board of Governors, the board member from uh, the 8th Congressional District that represents us, Mary Shedd. Mary, if you would uh, come forward and say a few words. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I want to tell you what an honor and a privilege it is to be here serving on the board and representing this area, Joanne Emerson's area. It has always been a, a privilege, and I've had lots of wonderful opportunities, but I cannot tell you how exciting it is to see the beginning of the FEMA building, and congratulations to Matt Morris and his whole team, because I know that uh, getting grants and all the work that goes into it, I realize it's a campus-wide effort. Um, I think Dr. Bennett shows tremendous leadership down here. I think we have some wonderful faculty and staff, and of course the most important part is the students. And this is really what it's all about. And I cannot tell you how proud the board of MSU is to represent all of you. Um, we have the opportunity to work with the other boards at the other campuses, and uh, we would put any of our students up against anyone in the state of Missouri. So congratulations to all of you. We greatly uh, appreciate how much everybody works here on the West Plains campus. We know that they are part of the crown jewel of the system, and um, I just congratulate all of you on this new accomplishment. Thank you very much. <laughs> what, a, what a great introduction this is for our students. I mentioned that the university would pay for the remaining 25% and anything else we put into that. 
The university cannot afford that. So we asked the students if they wanted to do this. And the students voted by a margin of three to one to pay a $25 a semester fee, which is paying for the remainder of this building. And so I'd like to invite our student body president, Ezra, to come up here. students I said we will not build this building unless the students want it and evidently they do and we're going to put them to work in just a minute with some shovels <laughs> to, uh, to open it up. Ezra would you like to say a few things? Yes, sir. All right I'd like to welcome you all and thank you for coming out and I say what a beautiful day, a perfect day it is for this event. Um, today marks the day obviously of the groundbreaking for our FEMA slash student recreation center and as uh, our Chancellor Drew Bennett said it's a uh, it's, it's something that's in time of disaster will be opened up to the community. It's amazing, but it's also an amazing opportunity for our university. Like he said, it's something that the students voted on. So this not only is an amazing opportunity to bring people in and create a safe environment, but it really truly represents what Missouri State University is all about. Um, a lot of other universities could have just imposed a fee on the students to create a new building. But we didn't do that here. Uh, the administration said, had the answer been no, this would, we would not be standing here today. But there is a large, a huge margin that wanted this. And so this truly represents the students. And as the university reps, uh, represents our students, I, I think they do an amazing job of it. And I love having to attend it here. And I would like to say once again, thank you all for coming out. And now, do you have? Do you have some muscle to help you with those other shovels? Yes, sir. Why don't you have them step away? We have John Turner, Sierra Lindley, and Mr. Cody Airy. Okay. Well, if uh, each of you will grab a shovel. You, you're not... <laughs> okay, put, uh, just get, get ready. We'll, we'll do it all at the same time. Can you all get closer together? On, closer on three. Together. And on three, we'll all say <laughs> Student Rec Center. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.